this is another example of work and energy converting. So here I've got someone sitting on a bed, which is on rollers, and they're in one of those races where people push the beds and see who can get to the finish line the fastest. This person is already going at two meters per second. They're in the race, the, the bed they're pushing and the person on it comes to 80 kilograms, and they decide, you know what, I'm gonna, for the last 10 meters of the race, I'm gonna push extra hard to make it accelerate and get to this point going faster. So they apply a force of 200 newtons and they're gonna speed up. And we wanna find out how fast are they going at the end of the race if they've already started at two meters per second. Now, if they weren't moving at the beginning, we could just say, well, they did some work. They did 200 newtons times 10 meters, which is 2,000 newtons. That's how much work they did. This is another problem using energy and work conversion. I'm gonna convert work into kinetic energy, but I'm already gonna start with some energy, so it's a little more complicated. Here's a person pushing someone on one of those beds with wheels on it in some sort of a race. So the person's already moving, and they've got 10 meters to go before the end of the race. So they decide they're gonna push extra hard and get to a faster speed by the end of the race. And I wanna know, well, how fast are they going at the end of the race? Now, if the bed wasn't already moving, this would be an easy problem. I'd just say, well, the work they did was 20 times 10. They did 200 joules of work. What happened with that energy? It went into this bed and this person, and they're going faster. So their kinetic energy must be 200 joules, and so I can tell you how fast they're going. But how, does it, how is it affected by the fact they're already moving? Well, they have some kinetic energy. How much kinetic energy do they already have? It's so one half mv squared. So it's one half times the mass times the speed they're going squared. That comes out to 160 joules. They already have some energy in this system, but they're adding to it. They're going to push for a distance of 10 meters. So how much work are they doing? Well, force times distance is um, 20 newtons times 10 meters is 200 joules. The car had kinetic energy already, it had 160. This person added 200 joules to it, so the total, the total energy they have now is 160 plus 200, 360 joules. What are they doing with that 360 joules? They're now going faster. When they get to here, they have 360 joules, so the kinetic energy there must be 360. So 360 equals 1 half 80 V squared. V ends up being 3 meters per second to the right. They were going 2 meters per second, which meant they had 160 joules. They added 200 joules. It gave them a total of 360. That represents the fact that they must be going at 3 meters per second. Now, if I wanted to stop this cart, it depends what distance. That's how much energy I have, 360 joules. If I want to stop it in 5 meters, then force times 5 meters will tell me, will equal 360. I can tell you how hard they have to push to stop it in uh, 5 meters. 